These are the times NBA Youngboy went too far. Starting with Youngboy and Fredo Bang's problems, see, because back in August 2020, Youngboy had gone on Instagram to let fans know he was dropping his top album on September 11th. And Fredo Bang later announced that he would drop a project on the same day. And after Fredo found out him and Youngboy were releasing on the same day, he made an IG post saying, guess me and my son dropping together, which really pissed Youngboy off and made him take things too far. Because after he saw the post, he went on to diss Fredo's dead partners and his mama. Hey, hey, you a bum, you Go dig all three of your brothers up with your skip. You a stop running from me. I ain't in no competition with you. Stop writing me. You a bitch. You ain't no killer. You won't be like me. You writing me all day. You a and I can double back. Hey, I can f any bitch. try to double back and f the f of your mama. You gonna try to f your mama. You a bitch. you a pimp. And after Fredo saw that clip, he posted a video saying how Youngboy didn't have to take it that far since he was just trying to say he's going to sell more albums than Youngboy. He angry, dog. He angry. Talking about dead potters and shit. Like, I'm on this talking about fat boy in that extra, extra large coffin he got. You hear me? Or, or, or Professor X, I push his half dead around. I don't, I'm not on this talking about that. I, I said I was sell more albums than You drop it, it's how my Rock. But we all know Youngboy came out on top in this situation since his album did way better than the tape that Fredo dropped on that day. But the situation was light compared to what happened with this next rapper. Because coming up, Youngboy was close friends with all of the TBG members, especially Lil Herc. And he was even spotted in Fredo Bang's first ever music video. But it wouldn't take too long until things went left. Since TBG members weren't showing Youngboy the respect that he deserved, they weren't pushing any of his music. He got no upfront money and they didn't even give Youngboy a TBG chain while all the other members had one. So this eventually made Youngboy branch off and create his own group, Never Broke Again. And after creating his group, both rappers went back and forth, dropping diss tracks on each other, showing how they really felt. Because in one track, Youngboy said to G Money that he never really felt a part of TBG, and he brought him around them, dudes he doesn't like. And in another song named Poor One, Youngboy said, I used to call you my big brother, then you did some foul f and had with my sister. And in a 2017 interview with Say Cheese TV, G Money mentioned how Youngboy Youngboy was mad about the situation that he had with Youngboy's sister since he was getting famous and how Youngboy was letting fame go to his head. Not really. He mad, he mad about his sister too, though. About his sister? Yeah, I had her a long time ago. Oh, okay. okay. Yeah, he I mean, mad about I mean, that. He, was, he wasn't really tripping on it back then, though, you know what I'm saying? He be calling me big brother and shit, you hear me? I guess he just let that fame and shit to his head. Now he feel like he just, just knew Whoever he supposed to be, whoever he called himself. A month later, after this interview and after releasing his single Industry, G Money was rising in fame. But he wasn't moving too smart because he was taunting NBA gang on Instagram, saying how he was still recording at the same studio and driving the same cars, which wasn't smart. Because one night, G Money was in the studio finishing up another recording session. Until shortly after leaving, around one in the morning, he was shot by an unknown person who was waiting for him at the door. And when Youngboy found out about it, he went crazy, dropping diss on G Money left and right, saying how G was talking bad about him. Now he's in a Dirt. But Youngboy's beef with G Money isn't the only time his beef with the Baton Rouge rapper got physical because Youngboy also had beef with Scotty Kane and took things too far. Because after Youngboy had his problems with TBG, he started working with Scotty Kane dropping a song called Homicide and both artists were blowing up. But after a while, Scotty Kane made a video explaining how he was tired of Youngboy begging him to do songs and go half on music videos and shoes. Roll my cousin. Y'all came to the studio, he begged me to do the first verse. I did not want to do it. I thought about it. I'm like, well, I'm going to go ahead and get this little chance. I did the verse. He asked me to put something on your shoes. You're not with my label. So, you. I'm doing what going to have with you on shoes and videos for. And this led them to start going back and forth, dropping disses on each other. And it got so bad to the point that Scotty Kane pulled a gun on Youngboy while they were in the studio. And Youngboy was in the studio crying. So after this, Youngboy responded with a diss of his own named Who You Supposed To Be, saying, Drew down with that burner and ain't use it. What's that supposed to be? Tears falling down my face? Still letting them know it ain't no in me. And after this, Scotty started doing interviews, saying he was not trying to beef or kill anybody since he is focusing on getting his family and kids straight, trying to end the beef. But Youngboy wasn't letting it slide. Because back in 2020, one night, Scotty Kane was in the studio recording until a group of members affiliated with NBA ambushed him and reportedly attacked Scotty 
so bad that he lost 20 teeth. But Youngboy doesn't only have problems with Louisiana rappers, because Kodak and Youngboy don't have the best relationship either, because the two appeared to be friends at one point, even collaborating on a few songs together. But their friendship quickly took a turn after Kodak released a single called Time Never Mattered. And many fans believe Kodak took shots at Youngboy when he rapped this part. I hope that I'm gonna broke again. And while neither artist said much about this track, but back in 2018, while Kodak was locked up, Young Boy's artist Quando Rondo burned some Sniper Gang merch that Kodak sent them, saying he didn't want him to send that stuff. Uh, you must be happy, JP. Don't burn me. Man, we on some NBA shit, man. Tell Ethic don't send me this shit no more, man. I'm telling y'all, I'm about to offer some real deal. Bed, you burn the bed, cuz. <laughs> Let's go outside. And after this, Kodak Sniper Gang members responded by burning one of Young Boy's shirts. I usually don't burn shirts, you feel me? I really burn. Yeah. 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 But at that time, Kodak couldn't say too much since he was locked up. But once he got out of prison, he said Young Boy was weak for making Kondo burn his stuff instead of doing it himself. He also spoke about how they were supposed to be cool, and this happened out of nowhere. And their beef went silent for a while since Kodak and Young Boy kept getting locked up. But it was until 2020 that Kodak sparked the beef back up because after hearing that Young Boy cooperated with the police after Yaya Mayweather stabbed another one of Young Boy's baby mamas, Kodak didn't take that lightly at all since he made an Instagram post saying how Young Boy shouldn't have told on her and that he'd probably tell on him too. But this pissed young boy off since he crashed out on live, asking why Kodak was speaking on him while being locked up. He even went off on Floyd Mayweather during this rant. And These watch me from a jail cell, man. These watch me from a jail cell and build my dick so bad. Be writing academics about me, man. Telling that academics to post on me. I ain't never paid attention to especially from no cell. You talking about my wife? Inside, inside my house that I paid for, now her dead in, huh? And now dead it. Things haven't slowed down at all since both artists are still taking shots at each other. Since this year, Kodak went live saying how Youngboy switched up on him and how he was tired of Youngboy fans keep trolling him, saying why be better. Fans come out, better. Oh, you feel little? Blah blah blah, better. Blah blah better. See that? Every fucking day, I ain't the type of gonna sit right and act like that. Cool, bitch. Get off my shit, and Youngboy responded to Kodak in a post saying, if he doesn't like his fans, he doesn't like Kodak. And after this, Kodak made a tweet telling Youngboy how he stands firsthand to that smoke and he'll never back down to no beef. Youngboy also had problems with another Florida rapper, Julio Fulio, which started because of the misunderstanding they had with each other. Because a few years ago, Youngboy was in Jacksonville, Florida, and Fulio followed him and randomly pulled up at Youngboy's hotel room after Youngboy got done performing, trying to ask him about a lyric he put in one of his songs saying, but you own Fulio. Since Fulio was saying that fans said it was a diss towards him and he wanted to see what it meant, this wasn't a good idea because after this, it turned into a big argument. In an interview, Fulio explained what happened. We talking. Y'all all had s on y'all? Like, like, yeah, then some shit happened. Somebody, the security up the gun. Somebody else up the gun. Everybody ran. Everybody scouted. Most of the video, we did, at this point, we back downstairs, right? We sitting in like the front of the hotel. He posted the video. He straight said, he laughed. He said, <laughs> pull back up, come back. All right. So we come back. We come back up that bit. So as we coming up the stairs, we see the Benzo. We chase his down. What's up? You young boy brother, he trying to do some hope. But one of young boy's affiliates said Fulio was lying. And none of what he said happened in an interview of his own. Yeah, I, yeah, I seen the, um, I seen the dude, you know, um, Fulio made a post or whatever. Um, you know, did it, you know, did that bother you in some type of way? I ain't lying, bro. I'm gonna tell you, tell you real, bro. The only thing that really bothered me, bro, when they ain't lying, bro. Like, like a liar, man. I hate a liar. I hate a thief. Like, I hate the dog. And thankfully, things with these two never went too far. But Moneybag Yo and Youngboy also had a short relationship because hours after they released their collaboration tape, Bad Baby's Youngboy went to Instagram, dissing the tape and Money. Man, fuck that tape. And I won't smoke. I ain't playing on my son. And no one knows the reason behind this beef, but things were pretty serious because Youngboy's crew allegedly got into a fight with Moneybag's crew when they saw each other in the mall. And now, no one doesn't know what's going on since Moneybag Yo said in an interview that they're now cool and there's nothing going on between them. I don't know, what's your relationship with, like, with uh, NBA Youngboy? 
Well, we, we cool. Okay. We, pretty cool. we got together because it, cool. it was like a something that was going yeah, on. Yeah, I ain't yeah. really nosy like that, but I just know people want to know. No, everybody asked that. No, it's cool. No, it's cool. Okay. Yeah, no. But Youngboy hasn't only had problems with rappers because in 2018, he took things too far with his mom. Because on a live video with DJ Academics, Youngboy was telling him how he never had a mama or a daddy in his life. And in one live video, he kicked her out of his house that he bought for her. And after this, she made a video saying she was not going to let her son control her life because he has money. If I don't do what Kentrell say, he won't do it. You know, he, he ain't gonna do it. Like, and I ain't gonna be robot. And I'm a grown ass motherfucking woman. I ain't kissing no lies. And things only get crazier because Youngboy also had problems with Jay the Youngin, another Louisiana rapper from whom he used to be cool. Because Jay was seen with Youngboy's baby mama, Janiyah, and Youngboy didn't like that. So after that, Quando Rondo and Jay the Youngin exchanged a few words on Twitter. Quando even took things too far, saying how he hoped Jay the Youngin's child passes away. Jay then replied, trolling Quando since he made a tweet talking about him getting cheated on. And after that, Quando went live saying how Jay the Youngin is broke and always gets robbed. Hey, listen, cuz you got your then after this, Youngboy went live on NBA Ben's Instagram saying how they pulled up on Jada Youngin and made him start running. We were ahead hunters, man. Come on, man. When they open their mouth, came to where they was, man. And you caught the cut and left in the hole and left a fat man in the blind. Oh, says. Then Jay went live saying the whole situation was a lie and young boy was just mad and lying. Man, somebody need to come take both of you phone. One of you screaming on the phone like a mad like a like mad at the phone. The other tweeting about it. And this isn't the only time Youngboy had problems with someone for talking to Janiyah. Because after popular Twitch streamer Aiden Ross went live on Instagram with her in front of 40,000 views, and after clips of the Instagram live starting to go viral, Youngboy quickly found out and was furious since people said Aiden was flirting with Janiyah. So he uploaded a snippet a few days later dissing Aiden saying, tell that YouTuber or streamer whatever he is, stop playing with me. And now we got them gunners laying with him. This had the whole internet going crazy. And Aiden said how he was trolling and he doesn't want beef with Young boy. He even went on TikTok to make an apology video to Young Boy. Here's my sincerest apology. Go to my Instagram at Aiden Ross. I said I was sorry for playing with your top, and I said I was 4KT because of my hair. Young Boy beefs with old rappers too, because two years ago, Young Boy got into it with Jay Prince after his house was broken into. Because after the video surfaced on the internet of people at Young Boy's house rambling in his stuff, Jay Prince came out of nowhere and made a video talking about how he knows the people who broke into Young Boy's crib, and they want to make things right since they gave Jay Prince the items they stole from Young Boy. Little homie, Young Boy, place got broke into. People went in his place, disrespected different things, and uh, you know I got a call about it. And the little homies that went into this place want to make that right. And after that, Youngboy was pissed since Jay Prince was doing this to get clout off Youngboy, which makes sense. If you got something for me, man, they got plenty of around me you could call. It's plenty, it's plenty ways you could get in touch with me. Man, don't get on no internet and do nothing publicly. Don't do nothing dealing with, with no publicity, none of that and more recently, Youngboy dissed Chicago rapper King Von. Because in late 2020, King Von was spotted on a surveillance camera fighting Quando Rondo until Quando's affiliate, Lil Tim, hopped out of the car, opening fire on King Von and killing him. And two years later, Youngboy spoke on the situation a few months ago with his diss track, Bring the Hook, saying, O Black Pack get rolled up, Atlanta Boy get folded up, which is a diss directly dissing King Von. Youngboy spoke on this since King Von was seen with Janiyah a few months before Von passed away. Lil Durk also responded to Youngboy in his song, Aha, uh -huh, saying, I told Vine to leave her alone. She posts on OnlyFans. Youngboy then took things up a notch by dissing the whole industry and anyone associated with Lil Durk in his I Hate Youngboy track. He went on to diss Vine, Oblock, Lil Durk's girlfriend, Dirk, Boosie, Lil Baby, Gucci Mane, and even Apple Music since they didn't promote his music. And if you enjoyed that video, click the video right here. Trust me, you gonna enjoy it even more.